Hello everyone. I hope you're having a safe and prosperous harvest wherever you are. Harvest is progressing nicely here at Central Illinois PFR in El Paso, Illinois. Today I'm standing in our nitrogen system study two by two by two. This will be our fourth year doing this study. Since we started this study, we have tested multiple nitrogen rates, two by two and two by two by two, and then multiple planter attachments. I would also like to cover the definition of two by two by two. So years ago when we started our nitrogen research with these planter attachments, two by two by two meant two inches over and two inches below the seed. Today that really isn't true. We don't want to apply nitrogen two inches below the seed because we can create slabs of soil that might hit the gauge wheels and cause depth issues because of those slabs. So I like to set our two by two by two units an inch or inch and three quarters below soil surface. When I started my work with starter fertilizer several years ago, I had learned that starter fertilizer could be really tough. I come from a farm and a location where our nitrogen programs are mainly 100% nitrogen either in the fall or in the spring. And there's not many planters around that have liquid on, on them. When I first started testing nitrogen starter, at our PFR site, I had some trouble with it. Back then, the systems weren't very good. That was about the 2010 to 2013 timeframe. Since then, the nitrogen systems sure have gotten a lot better. Through our PFR testing, we've been testing multiple attachments. The first of those being the Yetter 2968 series 2x2x2 two by two by two system. That's a, a, a following system that mounts between the gauge wheels and the closing wheels. The second system was the Martin Dual UMO system. That mounts in the front side of the row unit, utilizes two coulters, and you're still able to use your row cleaners. And then finally, in this plot in front of us here, is where we test and conceal. So the Yetters and the Martins have made PFR proven, and this should be the last year for the conceal before it's PFR proven. This is our th third year testing that system. So that system utilizes a knife only that rides in a two piece gauge wheel. So we'd have the, the need of not having a coulter with that system. The gauge wheel itself acts like a coulter and holds that residue down, allowing that knife to slice through that residue. In this trial today, we've got 30 units, two by two on one side of the row. And then every time we increase our rate as we go along, we will back that side rest rate down to have a total of 190 units of nitrogen applied in this plot. This is a multi-location study. So that first one is 100, or sorry, is 30 units two by two, followed by 160 side rest of V3, liquid UAN. Our next is 30 units two by two by two. So all we do there is split it on both sides of the row and that's it. And we adjust to have the same side dress rate at V3. Then we double our rate two by two by two, and we're able to do that because we split that solution on both sides of the row. Therefore, our salt content is not too high. And we back that rate down to 130 units V3. Our last rate is 90 pounds two by two by two, followed by 100 units at V3. So here's our ears for each of those rates. It's hard to tell today how each of these are going to do. But in season, I can tell you the preferential root growth from this treatment right here on both sides of the row, once those corn plants found the nitrogen solution, it tended to throw more roots to one side versus the other, especially when we compare those to the other treatments where the roots, when they find that nitrogen, surround the plant entirely on the bottom side. So through our previous testing here, we have come to find out through our data that overall three year average, just by going from the 30 units on one side of the row to 30 units two by two by two, we have gained 4.7 bushel to the acre, which equates to $18.62. Now when I increase my rate to 60 units an acre, I gained seven bushel over that 30 unit two by two control and then gain $27 an acre. It's a pretty good return by doubling my rate of nitrogen. That's a logistical challenge that you might have to face in your operation. 
if you have never had nitrogen starter on your corn planter, my recommendation is to pick a system and stick with it and then keep your products simple. As you get more acquainted with the systems and then handling nitrogen on your corn planters, maybe you could add a nitrogen additive or a starter additive to that system. And if you want to look one of those up that we've tested through our testing, feel free to take a, take a glance at our PFR book and go to our website at bexhybrids.com and select PFR and you can find those products that have done well. The conceals here that we tested here in this study, I have set those inch and three quarters below the soil surface and that is their recommendation. So that's where I've set those units. I am really excited to see the research from this study. It is one of the most consistent studies that we have seen over the past three to four years. This, by the way, is our last year probably testing conceal before it gets PFR proven if it makes it this year, and I do believe it will, just because of the consistency of this nitrogen application. As far as picking out which one of these today is going to win, I'm going to stick with one of the 2x2x2 two by two by two over that one side, just because of the early season scouting of seeing that preferential root go. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you're having a good harvest. Thank you.